Hi everybody, this is probably a weird angle, but I wanted to show you what I do when I cut out my vinyl, and this was the best way right now that I could figure out how to do it. So, I have my mats loaded. I'm going to go out of the frame now. So I've got my yellow, my white, my black, and my red glitter loaded up. I have them shiny side down because you want shiny side down. The shiny side is actually your transfer tape on your heat transfer vinyl. I'm using heat transfer vinyl, not regular vinyl. So I have pulled up my image in Silhouette Studio and the first thing I'm going to cut out is my yellow. So I'm going to drag these other colors all the way off the mat. If anything is on the mat, your silhouette will try and cut it out. I'm going to put this in the upper left hand corner and then I'm going to go to scent. Alright, now when I first brought this up earlier when I forgot to hit the record button, it said no cut. I didn't pay any attention to that. I didn't notice it. So when I went to cut it out, nothing happened and it said it was done. I'll show you on the other images how we, we get it when it pops up. So if you copy an image from the internet or from something you got on your phone, it isn't recognized as an SVG. So it may not recognize that you want to cut it out. So here I've got the box around it. I'm going to say cut and I'm going to choose heat transfer smooth. I already got my heat transfer. I did a test cut up here to make sure everything was good and then I actually cut out my yellow already. So let's move on to the next color. Now because I don't want to change the material that I'm using, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my black next and I'm going to strategically place it for the least amount of vinyl waste. I'm not going to tilt it or anything but you know I'm going to put it up in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to click send. Now see how he's all grayed out? So he, if I click the image, it says no cut and I want it to cut. So all I have to do is click cut and then he's got red all around him and that means that we're going to cut him out. So I'm going to pull my black vinyl. I'm going to load my mat in the machine. Yes, I still use a Silhouette 2. I have a 3. I like my 2. Alright, and I'm going to do a test cut. I used to say test cuts are for sissies. I am now a sissy because you can save a lot of vinyl by doing a test cut. You make sure that you have your material the way it's supposed to be on the mat and it makes sure that your blade is where the blade should be to cut your vinyl. You can do a check and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't cut through your transfer tape but you do cut through your vinyl. We had a successful test, so I'm going to load my cut unit. I'm going to do a last check, heat transfer smooth, cut, and I'm going to send. It is going to ask you every time if you're using heat transfer vinyl, if you want to mirror it within the software. If you haven't already mirrored it, you would send mirrored. I've already mirrored my image. So, I'm going to send as is. Okay, so my image is done cutting. I'm going to unload. And I'm, if you hold it just right, you can see where the cut lines are. Alright, that one. Now let's do the white on my mouse. 
going to drag him off to the side. I'm going to bring over my white and again strategically place it. As you can see, that it says no cut. So I'm going to click cut on my screen. Heat transfer is smooth. And I'm going to load my white vinyl. Now, I have a little bit of an edge showing here, so I'm going to find my mouse and then just move him over ever so slightly, which will pretty much put him in the middle of the page. And I'm going to move him down just a little bit just to make sure he doesn't get cut off because the gray line around the edge is where it won't cut anymore. Heat transfer is smooth. I'm going to do a test cut. And I'm going to take my little tool and I can pick it easily. So I'm going to leave the settings alone. I'm going to reload my mat. Right. And I'm going to try and get my USB out of the way. Eh, it's all intertwined. Okay, I'll just hold it. And I'm going to send. I've already mirrored it. I'm going to send as is. And there she goes. It is done. This one isn't bad. It's just an outline. So there's not a lot of detail in it. So it didn't take that long. Let me get my... Once I take my vinyl off my mat, I like to put the protective sheet back on it just so it doesn't get too much stuff on it. You know, I have animals and they have fur and fur causes mats not to stay sticky as long. Sorry about my head. All right, last but not least, we have the glitter. So I'm weeding in the background while the machine is cutting. So let's go back to design. I've done my white. So now I need my red. And I'm going to put the red just inside the gray line on the left hand side. I have two blocks showing over here and this the feathers are pretty close so let's do this let's take this image and I'm hoping you can see it. and I'm going to turn it this way now I could just turn my vinyl that way and that's all that would be just as easy as doing this now here I have one two one, two, we'll see what happens. I have more red glitter. If I have to just cut out one of those hands, I can deal with that. Okay, put a box around it, click cut. Then I've got red. Now, I need to change my material because I have heat transfer glitter. And that's a little thicker to cut through. So, I'm going to load my mat. And when you load your mat, you line up with this, there's a blue line with arrows. That's where you load the edge of your mat. All right, I'm going to do a test cut. Because like I said, vinyl is vinyl. Glitter is thicker. And I want to make sure 
that it's going to cut through but not cut my transfer tape. And it looks like it did a beautiful job. My transfer tape, I can't feel anything on that, and my glitter HTB came off. So I'm going to line it up, load it up, and send it. And send as is. Glitter is done. So take it off here. Glitter is really hard to see as far as whether or not the cut is there. So I've got, oh yeah, my hand worked just fine. All right, so let me get my laptop out of the way, harden my head. And now I'm gonna move you, don't look. So here I am leading my black sheet. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm picking out the inside pieces that I want the white to show through. So I have, and I'm hoping you can see this because I know there's probably a glare. So I've, I'm picking it and then I'll get rid of the stuff around the edges last. And here are his little socks that we decided to make all white. You know, because we wear black shoes with white socks, which no one should ever, ever do that. And essentially what I do is I start on a corner and I kind of pick. And the more you do this, the better you get at it. Pick this. It's very sticky. And I use a stretch vinyl from Caesar because I love their stretch vinyl. It just, it just looks really good on a shirt. And plain vinyl is fine. It is just personal preference. There is my black. I'm trying to see if you can see him. There he is. Okay, I'm going to set him aside. I have also weeded my yellow. I did that while I was waiting for my machine to finish cutting. And make sure. You put it sticky side up unless you have something that you can stick it to. Wax paper's good, but right now I'm just, I don't have anything right here on my desk. Again, I'm going to pull this. This doesn't have anything on the interior. This is a solid cut. So all I should have to weed would be the outside. And the silhouette does such a beautiful job of cutting. I usually don't have to worry about anything sticking. All right, so there's my white. My cat is sitting on the heat press. The heat press is on, and she's sitting on it. All right, so these little um, flexible cutting boards from the Dollar Tree, also good. Now, what you can do is you can layer it so you can see what it's going to look like when you actually press it. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, you get the idea. Now, here's my yellow. So I'm going to have to cut this. All right, so just cut them apart, and this is going to be my beak. And then we've got the shoes. Okay, I think, okay, this goes here, I think, 
I don't have, I just have to line it up. Alright, don't leave these stacked on top of each other when you start pressing, because you'll have, won't be a mess, but you won't be happy. Alright, and last, but not least, I've got my glitter. Now, like I said, with glitter you have to be really careful, and I think I did it sideways. So I believe the last part would be over there, so I'm going to take a chance. I'm pretty sure the edge is right here. Okay. Look, glitter can be a little harder to um, weed, because sometimes it kind of sticks, but it, it looks like, and you know, I think glitter vinyl, I think it has a, a lifespan. I think that after so long, I don't, I don't know that it expires, but it sure doesn't stick to the transfer tape like I think it should, and I probably just, you know, wasted a whole lot of red glitter. But this was a leftover sheet, so either that or I'm not getting my image where I think it should. Yeah, I think we're okay. My image is over here. I think these hands are kind of far away. Yeah. So there are my little pieces of the tie. There's a little whatever it is. I don't remember. I probably would have been, it would have been more economical to do these like I did the yellow. I probably got you off camera. Um, but, you know, live and learn. Alright, and then I kind of have to bend it to see where I need to grab and weed. This. I think that's it. So let's grab him and put this on here. And there you have an idea of what it is going to look like on my shirt. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on cutting out heat transfer vinyl. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. I know you have lots of options out there when you watch YouTube, and I really appreciate that you watched my video. I will see you next time in the craft room.